Hi, in this video I'm going to introduce you to the span group class in Spacey and show you how this class can be used to manipulate groups of spans in Spacey doc objects. So in this video we're simply going to add information on the grammatical mood of sentences that we've collected from an external corpus which we want to associate with the sentences in a spacey doc object. We have collected the information on grammatical mood into a Python list and if we examine the first 10 items you'll see that the list contains string objects that define the label for each sentence. As you may remember, the sentences in a doc object are available under the attribute sense and if we access the first sentence in the doc object, we'll see that this object is actually a spacey span object. We cannot directly manipulate the sense attribute, so what we want to do is simply retrieve the sentences using this attribute and then enhance them with the labels that describe their grammatical mood. To do this we need to import two classes, span group and span. We then create a span group object that contains all the spaces spans that correspond to the sentences in the doc object. To do so we call the span group class which takes three arguments. The first one is doc, which simply takes the doc which contains the spans as input, whereas the second is name, that simply gives a unique name to this span group. Finally, the argument spans takes a list of spaces span objects from the doc which are associated with this span group. In this case, our spans simply correspond to the sentences in the doc object, so we use the attribute sense of the doc object to retrieve the sentences which we then cast into a list. We then assign the span group under the doc object's attribute spans under the key sentences. You can think of the spans attribute of a doc object as a kind of storage for all sorts of span groups. Next we call the span class and its method set underscore extension which we use to define a custom attribute mood which has the default value none. We then proceed to loop over the list sent underscore types and the spans that are now stored under the attribute spans of the doc object. We use python's zip function to retrieve items from these two lists in pairs. So during each loop we get two items, one from each list, which we refer to using the variables mood and span. We then simply get the span object and assign the value stored under the variable mood to the custom attribute of the same name. And as you may remember, Spacey always stores custom attributes under the dummy attribute underscore. Running this cell stores the grammatical mood of each span under the custom attribute mood. We can examine the result by retrieving the eighth span in the span group under the key sentences and its grammatical mood which is now stored under the custom attribute mood. This gives us the span and its label which in this case corresponds to an imperative. Thanks for watching, I hope you found this brief video useful and if you have any questions feel free to leave a comment below. Thanks.